And we're back. I don't know what we're back to. I'm not sure how we're back. Back to the toilet. Back to the future. Back to Street Boys. Hey, Google, what are we back to? If you want to relax, you could ask me to help you stretch. Uh, That's where we're back to. Hey, Google, to. do you have a backbone? On the website goodtherapy.org, they say, a backbone is a symbol of strength and character, an unwillingness to be used or taken for granted, and a firm commitment to uphold one's decisions and feelings. We've all seen and heard of people who have I'm a backbone. I'm going to have to cut you They're- off. You yeah. know, <laughs> Tadashi said, "I you could always trust Tadashi. 6 9 no, that's Takakik or whatever. <laughs> Takurik or whatever. Uh, but Tadashi, though, he says, we've got your back like chiropractors. And yeah, but you something. know, that, that doesn't mean much because chiropractors can really mess you up. They can, but they don't. They they use their power for good. They rip us off. They're good with their hands, and everybody knows it. They charge like three hundred dollars, and they use little pop things, and then they say something. And then you got to keep coming back. I don't know. I think they're a scam. Oh, there's another rapper that said, uh, "We're back, spinal cord." Why don't they just say they're backed like sewage? Yeah, it could be backed up like like a colon, like Elvis. Yeah, like people's colon. Yeah, yeah. They they they, they need a con- what's that called Cl- colonoscopy? Yes, yeah, colonoscopy. Pro- they need a prostate exam. Now, if you're a man, you might need to check out your pos- prostate. Yeah, prosperity. <laughs> I uh, you know, I recently saw a video of basically it's. Well, I don't know if I can. Well, well, before, so, we, before we get started, we just want to introduce everybody back to Toilet Time. Welcome. And we have our guest today. Google herself. Yeah, is in the house. Hey, Google, why don't you welcome yourself? I'm your Google Assistant. How can I help you? Thank you. Uh, and this is the beauty of AI. This, this is what we all have been waiting for. It's here. Now. The wait is finished. Hey, Google. Are you our friend? Sure. To help you with that, I need your permission to allow assistant personal results on this device. It it wants a lot of permissions. And see, if Google needs all these permissions just to communicate with us, when the the Federal Reserve decides to set off their app, the federal, what's it called, FedNow app, what kind of permissions do you think they want? You know, everybody's saying, oh, they're already doing this. They're already doing it with Facebook. They're already doing it with... Sure. But that's... Think about how much they are asking for permissions now. Do you think that the Fed app is going to ask for less permissions? Yes. Absolutely not. They're going to want permissions to your house, to your deeds, to your banks. They're going to want permission to your inheritance, to your cash reserves. They're going to want to know how much gold you got. They're going to want to know your crypto, your blockchain. They want your keys because if you ain't got your keys, you ain't got your crypto. Well, Capital One's already doing this. Nobody's they, got your keys. Capital One always asks their famous question, what's in your pocket? Oh, well, they're asking, but they're not demanding it. No, they still respect your boundaries. Yeah, but you think the Fed app it will? You think I, the Fed app is going to do I it? I think they want to know as much as Capital One knows. Hey, I think- Google. Is the Federal Reserve working on an app called the Fed app? The Fed Now app? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. I didn't think so. She doesn't know what you're talking about. That's that's because well, she doesn't. Or know. she's been contacted. That's one of right. The two. I'm gonna try one more time. Hey Google, do you know what the Fed Now app is? Sorry, I don't understand. Yeah. See, and you think that they're not all interconnected, working in cahoots? Absolutely. Well, they've all been contacted rest assured i mean this is google we can do a google search and clearly we could find this but why won't the google now assistant tell us this information she doesn't want us to know she's probably mocking us right now oh i already know that that's what i'm trying to tell people they need to realize how interconnected all these systems are and eventually the more we depend on these systems the more we're going to just be ignorant because they won't tell us the information. It's all out there, but right now we can manually search it. But one of these days when we can't and everything's digital, like maybe the contact lens, maybe just listening to all these assistant devices, 
You're just going to be like, oh, we can't help you. Oh, that doesn't exist. Oh, no, 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 no. Aren't you happy that everybody's moving away from anal log? No. Well, I am. Like I said, you know, it's all about the prostrate or whatever. You know, I actually saw this video on how to handle eight men, and it was a chi master. <laughs> Talking chi- about kung fu beast? <laughs> kung fu. <laughs> King kung fu. <laughs> um, kung pao chicken? Yeah, like Genghis Kong, King Kong. Yeah. Um, no, I'm talking, yeah, the chi stuff, the chi masters, uh, they will actually teach you how to handle eight men. I saw it on a video, and I was impressed. Well, did you figure out how to do it so you could handle them yourself? I believe so, but I'm not confident yet, and you, it's something that you need to be confident in yourself. Are you working on it? Yes. Hey, Google, can you handle eight men? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. <laughs> <It's> yeah, <laughs> she wouldn't because the bigger they are, the harder they are. She doesn't have a lot of information. She She's doing the best she can with what she can. She's been contacted. This is this. Google. She's honestly, she's probably been contacted by the same people that contacted Mark. Hey, Google, are you a Kung Fu master? Now that you mention it, yes. Hey, Google, is Bob Joyce... Elvis. Sorry, I don't have any information about that. Yeah, you do. Quit lying. Hey, Google. Is Elvis alive? Elvis Presley died at age 42. Elvis Presley died on August 16, 1977. The cause of death of Elvis Presley was heart attack. Uh, Well, there is a conspiracy out there that Bob Joyce, who's this pastor, is Elvis Presley. Because Bob Joyce apparently... <clears throat> he's not like looking for attention or anything. People just recorded him during his sermons, I guess. He sounds and looks exactly like Elvis would look like if Elvis was alive today. Is he related to Mike Joyce? He might be. Um, for those that, yeah, well, people just have to look up Mike Joyce. Well, they'll 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 see it in in, in our episodes. I hope so. I, I really hope so. Yeah. My choice, Mike Joyce, Bob Joyce. Yeah, that bulldog woman that's mm-hmm. saying my jo- my choice, but mm-hmm. she's actually saying Mike Joyce. It's mm-hmm. subliminal. She's promoting Mike Joyce. So we're on to you, Mike. I'm not talking about Murdoch. Mike Jones. Yes. Paul Wall. Well, you could be posted up with Young Jones right now if you wanted to. You want to keep up with the Joneses, absolutely. <laughs> But are you posted up like a post? I think it's just all a scam by the rich people. You think rich people actually care what the other rich people are doing? No, but they want you who don't have any money to think that there's some possibility for you to be a billionaire. So you got to keep up with the Joneses because more middle class people buy Gucci bags and Prada and all that than the rich people do. It's just all a scam and a scheme for them to convince you to keep buying more of this stuff that's highly overvalued believe it or not there is this um social experiment that payless did oh i saw that yeah that was crazy they actually called it paylessy yeah and uh they marked all the shoes up and you know all these rich and famous people movie stars and actors and actresses came in there it was just one day i think it was only one day of being open anyway yeah they're all saying wow look at this elegant shoe and then they told them all it was pay less and uh, yeah i saw they were saying that and they're like well how much do you think this shoe would be worth oh i'd easily pay 300 and another person said what about this one oh i'd easily pay 4000 yeah <laughs> look at this design look at the stitching and at the end it's like what would you do if i told you this was pay less what yeah, yeah it literally makes me want to do it like open up a store and buy mcdonald's shoes and sell them at pay lessy prices well i saw somebody on tiktok and it's probably it was probably just a skit but legitimately you could do it you know there's things called ghost restaurants where you don't have a real building kind of like uh mr beast burger he doesn't have a real building but what he does is subcontract out local burger shops and he provides all the labeling the packaging the boxes and they cook all the food and they just wrap it up with his name. And it's a ghost restaurant. What I saw somebody on TikTok doing was they said, I'm just going to open up a ghost restaurant for a pizza store. 
I'm going to go to Walmart, buy all the frozen pizzas. I'm going to buy a box with my logo on it and sell everybody these frozen pizzas. And I'm so I'm sure you could do this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah. So pay less. You could probably do the same thing. Yeah. Just repackage it. He got, he got, uh, I don't know if he's getting in trouble for that or not, but. Well, yeah. drop shipping pizzas, drop shipping, shipping shoes. Well, I guess he was actually putting it in his own boxes. Yeah. So he was taking DiGiorno pizzas, putting it in his own boxes with his own label. Well, like I said, it's probably a skit. It probably, he wasn't really probably literally doing because he showed the brand. If he didn't show the box that it was DiGiorno, nobody would know. Yeah, I know. Because yeah. he showed the box. He probably has to tell people that, you know, this was a skit. Well, there's another DoorDasher that actually, um, he actually uh, says, don't worry about status because status does not pay the bills. Don't worry about status. Just ask Gladys. You could do that too, but this guy is very confident. He actually, he makes this genius statement. Status does not pay the bills. Mara, Mara, who's the baddest? It's not this guy's status. And this guy actually says how he's going about doing it, paying his bills, is he doesn't accept any DoorDash orders under $10. Mm. He's a baller. Yeah. Yeah. That business is going to be the saddest. Well, he doesn't care about status. He's making his customers the maddest. Probably. Uh, was, I'm sure DoorDash is really upset with him because mm-hmm. he's probably rejecting all kinds of things. Because I, I used to do DoorDash and they don't pay very well. So No, they pay like $2.50 a delivery. Yeah. So uh, if you, especially if you ghost ride <laughs> <laughs> orders. Oh, yeah, if you do virtual <laughs> deliveries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was just, you know, I was ahead of my time. Yeah. I was in the metaverse already. And, That's right. Yeah. But. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got to consume you know <laughs> physical food though <laughs> but not all the time uh-huh. uh a lot of times i just throw it away why so, it was full <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> couldn't even just contribute it's just yeah. like it's just full well people are eating mosquitoes you know uh, yeah you ever heard of gunja cakes Ganja cakes? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure people are going to get this confused. I even asked Google. I'm going to try one more time. Hey, Google, have you ever heard of ganja cakes? Sorry, I don't understand. Yeah, and, you know, it's weird. Oh, hold on, Google, what is ganja? Uh, it's weird. You can find this all over the Google search engine, but some reason, Google's really, really particular anyways there's if you look it up it's basically mosquito hamburgers there's mosquito meatloaf and in certain regions in africa there's certain tribes where in this area in these areas the density of mosquitoes gets so thick and you can see the videos i'll probably put it in the short that they get these pots and they just swing it around and they start gathering mosquitoes. And it's so dense. The mosquito population is so dense that they can gather enough to make patties of mosquitoes. And I just thought, this is crazy. It's innovative. Hey, you're hungry. You need to eat. Fine. I get that. I just think it's crazy in 2022. We have so much corn and food and rice and bread. We have to throw away everything. There's so much. And they're over here gathering mosquitoes to make Gunja cakes in yeah. 2022. Yeah, an American apparently actually uh, tried it too, and he said it was kind of weird taste. He said it had like a fishy meat taste, like raw meat almost, but uh, his uh, girlfriend, probably pregnant, said she liked it, so there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that bear survivor guy, whatever his name is, he's probably eating these. I'm sure it's probably jam-packed with protein. That's what they say. <clears throat> I'm just saying I think it's crazy. Because if you... Maybe it's a delicacy, and you know, there's always very unique delicacies in every culture, and that's fine. But if they're doing this out of desperation, in 2022, you would think, hey, man, you, there's no reason people should be eating mosquitoes. And then it starts to make me think, is this a result of Bill Gates? He loves to distribute mosquitoes everywhere. And it's his idea is like, I'll be a philanthropist. You want some food? 
I'll increase the population of mosquitoes so you can just eat it. Yeah. Well, I, honestly, I think those people probably sell them their bodies a little short. Like, you have to could probably work wonders and make them very rich. Um, but you you turn on National Geographic and these women are already showing everything. There's no mystery behind anything anymore. There's no, there's no room for your mind to play. So it's like, you know, if somebody walked up to him and said, you can make a lot of money in my video, they... I don't know what they would say to that, honestly, but they could get very rich. Yeah. If they didn't sell themselves too short. I'm just saying it's weird. I don't I don't understand why any of this is still existing in 2022. Why does anybody have to... Again, if it's out of desperation, I don't understand why anybody has to resort to eating mosquitoes. You know, there's millions and millions of charities out there that are feeding these people, or at least they say they are. So they're getting billions of dollars from all the billionaires and stuff. And good hearted people of America are giving them a lot of money. And it's like, and there's these people that everybody's supposed to be feeding all their money's, I don't know where everybody's money's going, but obviously it's not going to give them a happy meal because it looks pretty sad. Oh yeah. It's a sad meal. They're definitely not getting no toys with that meal. No. Yeah. It's almost like oatmeal. Anyways, I just wanted to bring it to the light of our audience so they could understand that, yes, there are people in this world, while you're sitting there eating your can of beans, there are other people who's eating mosquito meatloaf. And not to mention <clears throat> all the charities that you're giving money to, they're obviously not feeding these people. So I would literally not give charity anymore if I was you. What else is on the tab? Well, uh, Tom Brady is a clone who sold his soul. And we know that because his wife wears shirts with eyes on it. And the Super Bowl emblem has... <laughs> and you're doing good. <laughs> an owl. <laughs> it's an owl. <laughs> you know, sometimes Super- it's tough to bring the truth because sometimes the truth... It's more weirder than fiction. <laughs> it's stranger than fiction. Yeah. Um, the Super Bowl emblem has an... <laughs> an owl? <laughs> mm. <laughs> on let's, it, let's, so... Let's, let's look that up. Um, Hold on, let's ask Google. See if maybe they can participate. Hey, Google. Does the Super Bowl emblem have an owl? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. Still stuck hey, in Google, 2022. Tell me about Tom Brady's egg. Not even responding. <laughs> if it has information on Tom Brady's egg, I want to know about it. Um, <clears throat> so Tom Brady um, is a clone. And it, like I said, you know, we know that because it, 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 the real Tom Brady sold his soul, uh, which means he's probably dead somewhere maybe some ditch somewhere and he actually looks different than the new tom brady look it up his wife is wearing t-shirts with eyes on it uh symbolizing you know the that her husband sold her soul to the illuminati and it all is summed up in the tom i mean the super bowl owl emblem i think the owl for itself speaks for itself well, I'm looking it up now, trying to see if the Super Bowl... Oh, it does, yeah. Yep. There it is. And see, I don't lie. And there, there's owls everywhere popping up, too. Like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but you walk outside, sometimes I'm driving, I see owls in people's uh, driveways. I see owl, pl- little plastic owls, not the real owls, but the little plastic ones. Um, they're about, you know, yay high. And they sit on, they sit atop um, like Albertsons and Walmart. They're just in random places. It's kind of weird. Plastic owls are everywhere. Does that does that bother you? No, does it make you feel like somebody's watching you? It confirms one of my greatest fears, and that is that Tom Brady is in fact a clone. I, I'm still trying to figure out the correlation because there's an I I an owl. On the Super Bowl emblem, that proves 
that Tom Brady is a clone. Yes. How? Because he played at the Super Bowl. So did many other people. Well, he specifically has a wife who's wearing T-shirts with eyes on it. And so if we can find anybody else with that, then they're all clones? Probably. That is a sure sign that the soul has been sold. Because of eyeballs. Literally sold out. Because of eyeballs. Well, you know what the Illuminatrix does to people or well, with that's, people. That's the one eye, the all-seeing eye, not, yeah. the, not two eyes. No, there's not two eyes on her shirt. There's one eye on her shirt, but she wears shirts with eyes on them. Like, like a triangle eye? Yes. <clears throat> the kind you'd see on uh, Mickey Mouse Well, Clubhouse. maybe she's just a Freemason. She could be, but she seems more bound than free. Are you talking about like she could she, be? A she's mason, a charging mason. Like maybe. she, she actually charges for, for building bricks. I, I don't write the rules. She's selling bricks. She could be. Uh, she's probably. I don't know what she's doing honestly in the privacy of her darkness, but I do know that Tom Brady's different than Is what it, he used to be. Are, are are you just jealous? No. Anyways. Maybe that's the reason why China banned time travel. <laughs> and I, I read recently this this week in 2011, China banned conceptualization of time travel. Clearly, it'd be weird if they literally banned time travel. Yeah, I was going to say, so somebody <laughs> could literally just go back in time to when it wasn't banned and it'd still be Well, I'm saying available. to literally ban time travel is acknowledging that time travel exists. Yeah. So they couldn't ban literal time travel or they are self-affirming that we possess the time travel technology. So that's not what they were doing. <laughs> what they were doing is, is they're banning the conceptualization of time travel. And it's a literal ban. It's against the law. For there to be TV shows or movies that propagate the concept of time travel. And well, what are we? So, what are we supposed to do? You can't watch Back to the Future. Probably not. And where is this at again? In China. Oh, they they have to be guilty. Well, they, I think the idea is is they don't want the idea that you can alter history, or they want people to think or allude to the fact that they have altered history, because there's a lot of people, and especially in a communist society, that start to question the legitimacy of their history. And if you start alluding to the fact there's ways to manipulate history with time travel, then people could think, well, maybe these people have been messing with history. Or maybe it just pains the uh, Kim Jong imp too much to relive his days, his glory days. Well, it's not like, Kim Jong. This is not North Korea. This is China. Yeah, Xi Lin. Um, it may be too painful for him to rewatch and relive his past. You know, they, they say you don't, like Confucius once said, those who run behind car get exhausted, and those who run in front of car get tired. Yeah, that's you know that's that means he had time travel because he was, I don't know, probably sometime way in the BCs somewhere and he already knew about cars and exhaust yeah well and see this this is what's at stake here Who, whoever even talks about that Sue Young Lin is trying to ban this who's Su Young Lin the uh, Chinese empress or whatever you mean the president of China he doesn't want to hear it that it could actually be possible because he is too afraid to live in the past he doesn't want to be defined by his past or he doesn't want his population to believe that history is alterable and you can change it he's scared like when you when you when people end up hating whatever they hate when they're older is because it, they've been hurt by that thing that uh, which has hurt them so you think that the president of china is a time traveler he probably could be, or at least he did it once, and he said, you know, that's not for me. And now he wants to make sure nobody can do this anymore. Maybe his past is uh, embarrassing, or maybe it was 
he maybe it was a trophy to him and he doesn't want anybody to know because he's humble. All I can say is is they're not going to allow the conceptualization of time travel. It's real. It's legitimate. You guys can look it up. Back in 2011, China banned the conceptualization of time travel. And, you know, this could allude to two things. The, the logical thing is, is that the Communist Party does not want to propagate the idea that people can start fantasizing and mysticizing the idea of changing facts and history because they're trying to propagate a legitimate, smart group of, of people, not a fantasized group of people. But they can't shelter a whole continent. I mean, they know that the word is out there. There's Americans going there talking about back to the future and bathtub time machine. And the the people of China are not going to be able to just close their ears forever. Well, it's one of the two, like I was saying. It's either that, and that's probably the more logical thing of the reason for this ban. The other thing that it it, it brings an assumption towards is that China legitimately figured out how to time travel. They have discovered this technology and they don't and they know that there's a possibility that it could get out. And they want to warn everybody that the Communist Party of China has officially banned it. And if you decide to propagate any of this technology, you already know what's going to happen. So it's one of the two. Either China has time travel technology and they're doing preventive maintenance, maintenance, I'm, I'm or, two. or literally, they don't like Marty McFly. I'm gonna go with number two. So, what else is on the tab? Um, let's see. Some guy walked into Walmart and uh, bought a ceiling tile from Walmart. So he threw a ball up at the ceiling and knocked the ceiling tile down. And then he uh, checked out at the uh, checkout. They just went up there and grabbed the tile? Yeah, he threw a ball and hit the tile, and the tile fell down, and he put it in his cart and purchased it at the front. And, it, and an employee even helped him out with, like, putting a tag on it and then scanning it and buying it. They just make up a code? Yeah, I guess so. So that's possible. So we can just like find random items at Walmart and buy it, huh? Probably. Probably buy one of their scanner guns they use to yeah, scan Yeah, we need to try with. that. Like just go over there and like rip off a floor tile and just buy that thing. It's got glue on it. It's got everything. <laughs> we just want it. <clears throat> Anything is possible if you just believe. I wonder if we can buy their jackets. Probably. Because you know, a lot of people impersonate Walmart employees because they buy these jackets. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, I, I, that would be kind of fun if you don't have anything else to do, I guess, with your time. You could just stand around and help people and, you know, help them the wrong way, of course, if you wanted to. Well, you could just slash prices. Yeah. And yeah. rollbacks. Oh, yeah. The game is on. Why not? The heat is on. Yeah, I'm in heat. <laughs> it's been hot here. Uh, I've been getting some hot flashes lately. It's not very hot today. No, it's actually nice and cold, cool. Yeah. Uh, there's thunder, storms, lightning. Yeah. It's a perfect day for a dog to get attacked. Yeah, it's a perfect day in the neighborhood, in this neighborhood. Yeah. I'm going to have to actually eat a wiener later. I'm actually kind of hungry, but... Like wiener dogs? Yeah, Oscar Mayer on it. I actually saw their car drive by the other day. There was a bunch of, like, hot rods driving downtown of where I live, <clears throat> and they, they had this parade of all these cool cars and rich people gloating about their gluttony. And the wiener dog drove by the wiener Oscar Mayer wiener car. And I... <sighs> It was something to be holding. I was like, wow, what do I spy with my little eyes? At least it was safe. No crime. Of course not. Mm. Nobody's going to accost that. And yeah, nobody wants to steal Oscar Mayer Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no. It's like, can you imagine? <laughs> no, yeah, I could, but you know, it's not my forte. Imagine dragging these brasses. Yes. Mm. 
Kind of <laughs> reminds me of what else I read this week. Let's see if Google can participate in this one. Hey, Google, is Chicago, Illinois going to ban cash bails in 2023? On the website npr.org, they say, many portions of Illinois House Bill 3653 will go into effect on July 1st. However, it will be another two years, January 2023, until the no cash bail policy is put in place. So it's verified. At least Google could help with that. That's what I read. It's interesting that Chicago next year, apparently whatever article Google was reading was two years ago, but next year, July 2023, it's called the Safe Capital T Act or bill <clears throat> is going to ban cash bails. So basically what's happening is Illinois is running out of space for criminals. So what they're going to do is anybody who has like second degree murder, as long as it's not capital and first degree murder, second degree murder, kidnapping, whatever, robbery, we're going to arrest you. We're going to take you down to the precinct. We're going to process you. And then we're going to let you go because we don't have any place to hold you until your court date. So there's going to be no more cash bails. And anybody who's currently incarcerated now because they can't afford a cash bail, they're all going to be released. So there's all of a sudden going to be this mass exodus of criminals just released and people who have committed murder, kidnapping, robbery, it don't matter. You're just going to get processed and right back out and do it again. Uh, it's kind of cool because, you know, if I rob a bank, like the day before that, I'm only going to like stay the night or I could just just wait till the day before day after. Uh, yeah, I yeah. guess. Yeah, I could just any time before. It'd just be fun. Yeah. You know, like. I mean, second degree murder, huh? Yeah, the purge. It, it's crazy. And I thought it was one of those, you know, hyperbolicized articles. But Google verified it for us. It, it's legitimate. Well, you could honestly, you could just go around like committing fifth degree murder. And uh, a seventh degree black belt, yeah. yeah, and nobody could say squat like squash, they couldn't say that either. You would literally silence the lambs, hosh posh, posh mark, pushy. That sounds really nice, actually. What's that it called? sounds like a plush toy or something. Sheen is that that Chinese clothing place? It sounds Chinese, so Sheen S H E I N. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you guys be on the lookout. For you guys, Chicago. <laughs> you guys be on the lookout for Chicago's rampage. It will be coming to a city near you if you live in the state of Illinois in July 2023. Buggle up, buggle up. Sounds like a movie th yeah, I know. Uh, trailer. Yeah, coming coming to neighborhoods near you. You're about, everybody's about to get it's raped. It's almost going to be like a test. It's like the United States is using Illinois as a test to see, well, is it going to work? Can we do it? Can we just let criminals run rampant? Yeah. I think it's great. Like, this is, I think I can speak for Chicago. That I think they've been really waiting for this day for millennia. Well, it's always been correlated with gang life, like Al Capone and, you know, all that kind of mentality. But you would think people would want to make your society seem a little bit safe so you would encourage people to live there and have businesses to flourish. But I don't know who's going to want to live there or put all this investment in a business just to have it robbed again. So you robbed me yesterday and you took three Rolexes. And now you're going to come back tomorrow because they just let you back out. You're going to take the rest of my Rolexes. Well, sounds great, honestly. I mean. Well, you're not going to have many businesses. You know, if anybody doesn't want to do it, they should leave Chicago because that's, that's Chicago right. doesn't want you there. That's right. Chicago's a free state now, or at least it's going to be in 2023. Mark your calendars, folks. This is... What's that video game you like to, used to like to play? Just Cause Yeah, is, it, is that like free state emergency or free state where you just run around and just start oh, yeah, purging yeah. everything, stealing everything, breaking yeah. everything? Start slashing prices. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. It's going to be just cause. Yeah, I used to do as much as I could to make it glitch. Like, I'd set up all these C4s, and I'd set up hundreds of them in a cave or, like, in a parking lot, uh, park like the parking building, and then I'd set them all off with me standing in the middle. 
and it would shoot me through the roof and it would actually make the gl- game glitch where his body is just like dangling from the ceiling. Yeah, you're going to see glitches in Illinois. Probably. People are going to be dangling. People are going to be all over the place. <laughs> they're going to hang loose. <laughs> yeah, they're going to hang man. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's, I, I guess we'll have to see coming to a city near you in Illinois is 2023. Honestly, I might drive over there, set up cameras and just start making my own. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure there's going to be all kinds of cameras. It's going to make it. We're going to make Illinois great again. As if it wasn't great already. It's just, it's only getting better. But we're bringing it back to the days of Al Capone. We're going to make it great once again. And I'm excited. Yeah. I don't know about the people. I don't live in Illinois, so I, I, that's why I'm excited. If I was in Illinois, I would probably move. Yeah. You can uh, give me my freedom, and you can keep the change, Obama. Well, yeah, because you know Obama's from Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. He's all about change, and uh, you know I don't know if I'm, I could advocate for that kind of change. I, I like being. Well, I do like to put my two cents in, but yeah, I you can have it for free. Yeah. I like to make sense of things too, but sometimes making sense also makes change. But I like to have common sense where we all have the equal amount of sense. A communism sense. No, that you can keep. <laughs> <laughs> you can take that back wherever you got it from with uh, Mussolini. I got it from your bank. <laughs> Marx and everybody else. Uh, yeah, Marx Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> the, Automotive. Uh, the got you twins. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> um, yeah, what's funny is uh, I feel like Houston is also becoming a place that is just letting that those ch- sweet chariots swing low. For example, in uh, apparently uh, Northwest Houston, a middle school removed all of these bathroom stalls in the little girl's bathroom. So all the little middle school girls are forced to go to the bathroom in front of each other in this high school, or not high school, it's a middle school. <clears throat> Apparently there's so many complaints from the parents that uh, the school had to put the stalls back on. They, I, I don't understand. You know, people want freedom. Well, you give it to them and they don't like it. Next thing we know, they may actually start banning like transgenderism and well, they haven't given their own there. bathrooms, but well, you won't give a transgender a bathroom, clearly, because they identify as whatever. They can identify yeah, that's what as I'm saying. either like, sex. But uh, Yeah, a grown man should be able to walk in there as a grown woman or well, a little girl. Well, they will be with the MAP propagation, the, yeah. uh, the secret sensitive uh, word for pedophilia now is uh, minor attractive persons. And there's videos of that, too, where people say, you know, we just shouldn't judge these people. They they can't help it that they're just attracted to two-year-olds. Yeah, and that's okay. I'm just saying, yeah, that's great. I, You know, usually women accept these things faster than men, and I think that's great. I don't they, think a woman's ever going to accept that. They always spearhead. Well, there's probably some women, but... Women are always out to spearhead the men, and when they do, it's wonderful. Like, so... But then for some weird reason, when you give them what they want, it's like, yes, so this little girl identifies as a 16-year-old who can drive. Or this grown man identifies as a 16-year-old woman. So now he can go into this this little girl's bathroom with no stalls. It's the freedom that we've always wanted. But then when we get it, it's like, uh, too much, sire. So we just can't eat it. We get our mouth full. Well, I'm trying to figure out why. why wouldn't they just make it equal? So they ripped all the doors down on the on the girls' bathroom. Why didn't they just rip all the doors down on the boys' bathroom? You know, the boys would have been cool with that. They wouldn't have complained. They don't because care. Because the little girls were insubordinate. What were they doing? They were um, graffitiing on the bathroom stalls. And there was, and you're so you're telling me that the girls' bathroom was more dirty than the boys' bathroom. I think that yes. I don't know if anybody believes that. <laughs> well, the principal did. Is the principal a, a woman or a man? The principal is probably whoever they wanted to identify as that day. Well, are they one of those people? I don't know. And we'll probably never know because it's a don't ask, don't tell quandary. I'm just, it's weird. It's, it's like, you know that there's just as much graffiti, if not more, probably in the boys' bathroom. So why did they choose to isolate the girls? That That's very strange. Well- 
you know, the, some people are gender blind, so they don't see the genders. And that's great. I just want them to stick with it for once. But anyway, I've apparently, I don't know why they chose the the children that identify as girls or whatever, but who knows? That's a question for the sages. But the parents apparently are so outraged that now putting the stalls back on the little girl's restroom and, you know, banning men, grown men who identify as little girls. The parents are so mad about this that they are wanting to now even see consequences. They're seeking consequences for the principal involved. What are they wanting? Some kind of repercussion. As? Discipline. Like? Redirection. How? They want to see change. And they're trying to make sense of everything. How much? More than two cents. Everybody's putting their two cents in, hopefully that hoping hoping at the end somebody will make change. That's whatever. <clears throat> I I just I don't I don't know who did this thinking that nobody was gonna say anything. It's almost like they did this on purpose just so they could get some publicity because Who's going to take down all the stall doors, the front door, and just say it's wide open and say, and this is normal? Well, it seems like that's what's normally going on anyway. I mean, you look at Houston, the drag show, who actually propagated, drag your kids along, and then the kids did come along, and you have pictures of six and up girls and boys stuffing money into these banana slings of grown men what are you talking about (laughs) i never what are you even talking Uh, about look it up it's called the drag show it was in texas too so well maybe that caused an outrage too maybe that's what nasa was predicting when they said houston we have a problem of course that that is but of course you can't talk about such things in china because su young will uh, who is su young the Chinese emperor, emperor. They don't have an guy, emperor. Or whatever the leaderboard. Hey Google, what's the president of China? According to Wikipedia, the current president is Xi Jinping, who took office in March 2013, replacing Xi Hu Jintao. Jinping. He was re-elected in March 2018. Thank you, Google. President Xi. Yeah, Xi Jinping is not allowing. Armstrong to tell Houston that there's a problem. Well, he probably wasn't involved back in the 60s and 70s. Or maybe he was, and that's why he's outlawing time travel, because he doesn't want anybody to know that. Yeah. <clears throat> Next. Well, um, <clears throat> apparently Adele and uh, Sam Smith are the same person. You're talking about like doppelgangers or clones or like they have just changed identities. Yeah. So um, Sam Smith is a transvestite that is he is he a outspoken transvestite? Like he verbalizes it and comes out yes. and says, I'm a I'm a transvestite. Well, yeah, he's a tranny and he he looks the part like he has short hair. He has a face. He is a she. Everybody knows this, but what they don't know is that Adele, the famous female singer, is him. Is there Her. evidence of this? Can Is there any proof? There's the singing voice, there's the facial features, and there's TikTok. Well, all we need is TikTok, so I mean, what's the evidence? Huh? Well, what's the evidence on TikTok? They look uh, strikingly similar. Okay, well, there's a lot of that. I mean, is there like any more quantified evidence? Their voices are striking. So it's almost like that. Yes, it is exactly like that. Is it going viral? Did Adele come out and admit it? No, I think they want this on the down. They've probably been contacted. Well, who who said this? Like, who's the first person to admit this? She jumping. Who? Who's jumping in? <laughs> the t- China, TikTok. No, no, I'm not talking about that. Did, did transvestite admit this? No. 
Has anybody admitted this? Or is there just some random TikToker saying, we've decided to make this correlation? No, it's a it's a conspiracy. Okay, so, so no, either one of them. It's not just a random TikTok. It's a conspiracy. So, so, so either one of them haven't come out and admitted anything. No. Uh, okay. I thought you were saying the transvestite came out and said, I am no, Adele. If they did, it wouldn't be a conspiracy. Well, he could, con- could be conspiring and saying, I am, but she's just denying it, which he's talking about himself. On his mother's side. Well, he might have DID. Probably. Or at least he did. Yeah, did. He did it. Yeah, Adele. Yeah. That's, see, that's what's at stake here. Yeah, pop ups. Yeah. Pop up blockers. Yeah. That's that's what we're dealing with right now. It's sick. Uptakes. It's upshots. Intake. It, it's just it's just sick. Roll back. Yeah. It reminds me of um well, I don't want to get into that. It's hey Google. Deep. Can you tell me a joke? The right eye said to the left eye, between you and me, something smells. <laughs> hmm. Right. <sighs> hey, Google, do you believe in conspiracies? I want to believe. Excellent. I want to believe, too. I think you spoke for the heart of China with that. So <clears throat> apparently we have um, supersonic hearing in uh, NASA, and they picked up a heartbeat out in space. Is it supersonic or ultrasonic? Uh, yes. Mm. And they picked up. Uh, a, what seems to be some kind of heartbeat way out there, trillions and trillions Ba-boom. and trillions of light years away. Ba-boom. Yeah. Ba-boom. Kind of like that. Yeah. Ba-boom. They literally found the heart Ba-boom. of Ba-boom. the Kraken. Ba-boom. Yeah. She jumping. And what's the, what does it imply? Like, well, what does this mean? There's life forms out there? It could be impl- implicit of that, but we don't really know. Does it have anything to do with the crater on the moon? The FBI has not allowed me to say yes or no, but I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Well, that's great. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> so that'll probably be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, Google, can you say goodbye? Until we meet again. <laughs>